Hey guys, before this video starts, I'd like to thank you all for 10 subscribers. I know it doesn't mean much to people that can do way more than me, uh, but it does mean a lot to me, especially since I bribed two of you with fucking cater tots. Now, with that out of the way, on to the video. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Cyjax, and today we're going to be back playing Whispers of a Machine. Now, if you follow my Instagram, which, by the way, follow me at Cyjaxian, because I'm a desperate little fuckboy, um, that I had some technical issues with um, my recording equipment, and uh, it made me miss a lot of stuff. So, I, I didn't go far, uh, I stopped recording, and I couldn't get it back up in time uh, to do the recording to get it out in time. So, uh, what I did is that I used my smart scanner to scan this guy's boots, and it gave me a boot print. And, uh, if you show Alfred the bloody foe, he actually does know more than he lets on. Anyway, uh, using the biometric analyzer, you can find an anomaly in it. And, uh, basically, they were, these two people were dating, and, uh, he told Alfred to keep it a secret. Now, the guy suggested an affair, um, yeah. So, then my character said that, uh, all I needed to do was talk to Gabriel. So let's go do that. Gabriel. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, let's just talk about the mystery. Do you know woman. anything about a woman who was seeing Carl? I'm afraid not. I didn't know Carl myself. Oh, another thing we found. Uh, that boot print had saffron over it, which I'm pretty sure it's the stuff used to make salads or explosives. Either or. I mean, I have been called a terrorist. So, yeah. Uh, I love how the symbol is just an upside down cross with a blue background and a uh, king's crown on it. Very, very good. Okay, that's all I need for now. I think. Very well, Agent. I need to just head to Nordson. Would it allow me? I'm nearly finished here, but I don't think I checked. Go any further. So, all I need to do is talk to Gabriel. Hey, I think I'm done here. Oh, okay. Mind sharing your findings? It seems like the murder could be tied to a secret relationship Carl had with a woman. But I'm leaving all options open. Sounds reasonable. You Go have a wait, to follow son, up I'm on? recording a video. Yes, I have reason to believe that Carl recently passed through an area with saffron yes. plants somewhere in Nordsund. Go away, Maybe I'm I can recording. that with Carl's movements to the north of town when seeing that woman. Good. I don't need the sun Meanwhile, here. Meanwhile, we'll Get transport out of the body here, to the morgue and have an autopsy performed as soon as possible. Do you want us to keep the area sealed off? No need. I'm done here and won't come back. You can let the men get back to work. Very yeah, well. But... I'll let them know. By the way, how do I get to the police station from but here? If you're gonna let people Just go in here, east outside. those are all You'll their lockers. It. Shut up. Got it. Those are see all their later. lockers. So wouldn't they have to come into an active crime scene uh, every time they want to change clothes? Okay. So what do we have here? Uh, let's go to the worker, see what she has to say. Is that shattered glass on the elevator? Why would? Hey, what's happening here? I wouldn't want to meet the person that has a bit of an electrical strength problem to throw a rock up there. Because, as you care can of, tell, I'm a YouTuber a and don't have so any physical exercise whatsoever. Well, you can, but only if electrocution is something you enjoy during working hours. Oh, I have a choice. Uh, will there also be incineration? I prefer my electrocutions followed by intense burning. Yeah. Will there also be incineration? I prefer my electrocutions to be followed by intense burning. That's kinky. <laughs> You'll be nice and crisp, all right. Jokes aside, come back tomorrow. By then, the museum should be available. She right. looks like Thanks. every female comedian. The worker. Uh, I got another point. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but here, I'll just do it in post. Uh, Basically, here's the triangle. My dot is where the dot is right now. Uh, yeah. So, I'm hoping to get more empathetic. You know, the jokey haha. A very funny, very cool man. Uh, let's see what Abraham Lincoln is doing. Oh, policeman. Never mind. Hello, deputy. What are you guarding? The residence of the first murder victim. Wait, first? That the commissary the told me to direct you to his office before going upstairs. I see. I'll go find him and come back later then. Huh, Sounds good. very interesting. Ah! Uh, um... 
Let's go to this town square, see if there's anything there. All right, so this is the town square. That building with the emblem must be the police station. With the blinking lights. Wait, Matchul Skula. What is this thing in the center? Nice and shiny. I can even see my reflection in it. Yeah, but what is it? I don't know what it is. Uh, uh. Yeah, fight me. I bet you can't burp louder. Burp loud as you can in the screen right now. Do it. Uh, yeah, but that is a sculpture. But of what? Nice and shiny. I can even see my reflection in it. Oh, is it something like... It's modern art. See, like, this thing right here is modern art. This is beautiful modern art right here. Oh, it's stupendous. Um, so, police station. Let's go. What just happened? Oh, you can double-click to teleport to where you're going. I'm surprised the Bureau got their thumb out of their ass. That's a bad word! It's not like they could find Nordson on a map. I, for one, am grateful for their help. From what I hear, the person they sent is young, but quite capable. Optimistic as always, eh, Kurt? I guess we'll see. Ah, oh, uh, so Agent I'm Anglin. Young We've been expecting you. Councilwoman, I was told you'd be my bureau contact here. That's correct. I'm Steena Ruth. And this here is Kurt Anderson, police commissary. Welcome, Agent. Commissary? Enjoy your trip to the, the middle of nowhere? Store? It was a bit bumpy. And way longer than I expected. Yeah, the train has seen better days. You'll find your luggage in your quarters, just through the door behind me. Hey. Thanks. I'll check it out later. So we got our own so, room. you were probably confused as hell when we sent you straight to a crime scene, right? Kind of. I thought I was supposed to investigate a murder from last week. You were. But unfortunately, a second killing required your urgent attention. I assume there are some bureau procedures before I brief Agent England about the situation? Yes. Why don't you head to your office, and I'll send this youngling on her merry way when we're done. Very well. It was a pleasure to meet you, Agent. Likewise. I'm pleasured too. Wait, no, wait. That's I'm a bit one. confused here. Who do I report to? Only to me, as overseer of this district. The local police are at your disposal, since they're legally required to aid you in the investigation. Got it. How would you like me to share my findings with you? Face to face, in the evenings. The balcony inside the local canteen is a good place to meet. Okay, Where's I think canteen? I have what I need then. I'll go talk to the commissary. Good. We'll catch up later. Oh, but I have to ask. Tell me, how was it for you? How was what? What do you mean? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. We've both done it. Drugs? Oh, you mean my... You mean the augmentation. The nanofluid injection. Sticking to the boring scientific terms, are we? Oh, so they are taking Back drugs. in my time, we used to just call it taking the blue. Come on, let this old lady live so a little. My cursor's blue. Tell me, how was your first kiss with the blue? Uh, felt an amazing sense of, bo of belonging, like I was connected to everything and everyone around me. But a sudden rush, filling my limbs with body, followed by a sense of power and determination. A sense of enlightenment and acute awareness washed over me, like a crystal skill, something I can't pronounce. I have never felt before. I'm gonna go with determination. It was like a sudden rush, filling my limbs and body, followed by a sense of power and determination. <laughs> I remember that moment like it was yesterday. What I wouldn't give to feel like that again. No side effects, I hope. We wouldn't want you to get compromised in dangerous situations. Not yet, but I know what to look out for. Mild hallucinations, nightmares, burning sensations in the limbs, the occasional migraine. Things like that. Yeah, that covers the usual suspects. All right, I think you're good to go then. We shouldn't keep the commissary waiting. Okay, sweet. So... Shit, I just instantly forgot all of that. Um, so there's another murder that we need to solve. And we got our own thing. Now, I have played a, th a game. All right, Agent. Would you like me to brief you about the first murder? Yes, please. Maya Strand, 41 years old. That says The caretaker Maja. of the Nordson Museum. She was found by the janitor on the floor near the exhibits early last Wednesday. Just like Carl, she was stabbed. No witnesses, no evidence. Killer practically a ghost. No signs of a forced entry. 
So either the entrance was open, or she let him in herself. What about her residence? Anything out of the ordinary in there? Nothing, as far as we could tell. But we left the places we found it, if you want to have a look. She lived upstairs from the museum. Noted. The crime scene is no longer intact, though, correct? Afraid so. The museum is important to Nordson, so we had the place cleaned out pretty quickly. Pen up the body, make it in the new exhibit. Right, but now I'm here, I'm assuming you'll check with me. Uh, sorry to hear that. I guess the bureaucrats are messing up the police park isn't just a city problem. I'm sorry gonna be a to hear jokester. that. I guess bureaucrats messing up police work isn't just a city problem, huh? You have no idea. Sometimes I feel like I'm spending half my time arguing with those fools. Well, if he has One more no thing. face or expression, I'd like to see Maya's body, all the way. that's possible. I'm making a stern of face, even though you can't We brought tell. it out of the freezer this morning. Um, You'll find it in the morgue over at the clinic. Dr. Pearson, our physician, is awaiting your arrival. Good. I'll head there when we're done. Oh, God. Maja murder. There's a bottle of molding resin here. Might be useful. Molding resin. Yeah, so I checked around the only thing. It seems like... Maybe later. I'm not that hungry. Yeah, it seems like the only thing here was that molding resin. Uh, I checked over there. There's nothing interesting over there. Uh, all that's really uh, interesting is that the potted plant, that yellow thing right there is just a lemon. And yeah, let's go investigate. Sounds like a class is in progress. I was just heading back but to see if that upper thing What happens if you do it anyway? Then policemen or women will come and arrest you. Statutory Ooh. rape. Harsh. It's the law. We mustn't make things that can think for themselves. Yeah, but But my parents created me, and I can think for myself. Did they break the law? Thank you. <laughs> I swear I did not play You make a good point, Alicia, but that's quite different. All first different how? I don't get why it's more dangerous to create a thinking machine than a thinking person. Because you can kill a thinking you person. You think too much, Allie. No, that's good. You should always ask questions like these. Okay, so we're heading over there. Is the guy gone? Yeah, the guy's gone, but there's tape there. I don't know if we can still do that. Uh, so I guess we're going to go upstairs. Oh, we broke the tape. All right, Maya's place. Let's see if I can find any clues in here. Ah, you man. Look, this looks like a meat factory to you. Those are definitely true. Aha. Aha. Anyway, I'm done with that bit. So what? Nice collection of mushrooms. Looks like the edible kind. Drug reference. That's best game. Ten out of ten. Okay. So I'm here a day later because I need to do a thing that you guys don't need to know about. Uh, I think it's terrorist anonymous since I've heard a lot of people call me this. Uh, I am not. Just don't tell Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda. I forget that I do that. I swear I'm not illiterate. Ooh. Don't worry, Maya. You'll be put to rest soon. Okay. I know. I know. Sorry about the delay. I was needed urgently out of town. Okay, so he's crazy. Oh, hello there. Oh, so what happened here? Have been Her face you. is missing. <laughs> Talkative, is she? Oh, no doubt. The dead have a lot to say, you know. Sometimes Especially when so I mention the them rectorly. Is that so? <laughs> the living are fickle and prone to deceit. Once dead, we can't hide things anymore. Not from me, at least. What happened to her face? Her entire face is missing. I agreed. These days, people would prove themselves to be trustworthy before I rely on them. Sorry you feel like that. I think most men and women are sincere. That's why we need ways to tell what someone was hiding. I'm gonna go a second I'm sorry way. you feel that way. I think most men and women out there are sincere. Oh, sure. Perhaps I came across as a bit misanthropic. Most of the time, people are just fine. Glad to hear that. Now, I'd like to ask some questions. Sure. Go right ahead. Did you or did you not fuck that body? Ooh, I gained another point uh, to the empathy side. Okay, so what do I need to say? 
Maja what murder. are your conclusions about Maya's murder? It's a Maja. Most obvious first. The cause of death is acute blood loss due to the multiple stab wounds to the chest and stomach, two of which were lethal. The two? murder weapon Out of how is much? a mid-sized blade, likely a knife of some kind. There are some defense wounds on her arms, so the victim likely tried to shield herself against her assailant. I couldn't recover any biological traces of the murderer. There's no blood on her that isn't hers, or any traces of skin under her nails. This makes me suspect that the killer likely wore protective clothing and gloves. The time of Betting death it's was a machine. roughly 2300 hours last Tuesday, five days ago today. Okay, so let's ask about Carl's Any murder. Any theories on Carl's murder? Not yet. I'll need to see the body first. After I examine it, ah ha 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 ha. Uh, Saffron, see what Do if you there's know where anything Saffron about is Saffron. Saffron. I'm afraid not. We have plants all over, but botany is not my area of expertise. Uh. That's but the mystery. I'm woman. looking for a young woman connected to the second victim, Carl. I can't help with that. I didn't know Carl on a personal level. Uh, what about the bloody photo? Do you recognize this couple? The man is clearly the second victim, Carl. As for the woman. It's too hard to tell, given the damage to the photo. Uh, what about the handwriting? What do you make no. of this? The handwriting looks feminine, but I'm not sure what to make of the contents. You read a note that quickly? Seriously? Like, seriously. What do it's... you make of this? No, no, not the like that. No, looks no. feminine, but I'm not sure what to make of the contents. Look, stop asking him. Uh, Maja Strand. Did you know Maja Strand? Not really, but I enjoyed listening to the occasional lecture of hers at the museum. She had quite an intellect, that woman. So she wasn't a patient of yours? Oh, she was, but that's all confidential, so I can't say much about it. I understand, but anything you can share would help. Hmm, well, during the autopsy I noticed that she was unusually worn and feeble for her age. Huh, okay. how old was she? And what does that tell us? For one thing, that means, she would uh, uh, I can't fuck her. I only like little boys and girls. Museum. Got it. Thanks. He, he looks like a pedophile. He looks like Jared from Subway. He even got the green suit on. Uh, Carl. Did you know Carl Oscarson? No. When I heard he was murdered, I didn't even recognize his name. I had to check my records to realize that I've treated him. To be fair, I've had many patients. But he must have been cursed with one of those awfully forgettable faces. All right. Anything out of the ordinary in his medical history? Sorry. Can't go into detail. Doctor-patient confidentiality, you know? Keep it vague, then. Well, okay. Let me put it this way. I doubt you'd learn much from his file. Noted. Thanks. Okay, so... That's enough questions for now. Let's see what's here. Okie dokie. Oh, one last thing. I've been told that the second body is on its way here. If you come back later today, I should be able to tell you something about it. Is there like a time All right. thing? I'll keep that in mind. I hope there's a time thing uh, to check on it. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, desk, my body. Oh, can we use the, the forensic scanner to... Oh, yes. Analyzing, analyzing, analyzing. She's 43. Huh. Uh, time. Ugh. Sorry, I just woke up like a couple hours ago. Blood type O. That's really good. Ugh. Time of death. Uh, don't know where that T5 days. DNA and fingerprints. Ooh, so we got her biologically. Um. So what do we have here? Locker. One last waiting room before the final embrace with the earth. Okay, that was dark. Could have just said lockers where they store the body. J Goddamn. Uh, sink. I'll wash my hands when I go to bed. Plenty of time still to get my hands dirty. Uh, what about the scaffold? This might be useful. For for what? <laughs> Kill yourself. Uh, what else is here? Like the lobby. That's just a homemade crematory. You know, I hear they 
the ashes make really good spices. Like, I just ate ramen noodles with my grandma's ashes in beautiful, tasty. Uh, let's see. Um, I guess since we're gonna have her biologically, biologically, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're in the canteen now, instead of, uh, even though it says Marshall on top of it, I don't know why it says that. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have a bunch of pictures. Looks like just the reg regular thing. Can I have some of those chips? Um, we got Eva from Wally, -E, but uh, post apocalyptic. Uh, ooh. Post apocalyptic. Uh, yeah, let's see what these guys have to say. Then I'll check over there. Gotta rest my mind, stranger. I have a long weekend shift ahead of me. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your time off. I'm an officer. I'd like some of those chips. Let's ask about this guy, see if he has anything to say. Weekend's coming up. Great, huh? Looks like you've got a head start. All shoes repaired, all coats patched up. That's when you call it a day. Finish your work fast and you get the best food rations. Oldest trick in the book. I get it. Well, enjoy your time off. Okay. You're not gonna ask them anything related to the murder. King, don't smoke, kids. Don't smoke. Don't be a bad horse and like him. Uh, let's see what this guy has to say. I love how you walk past hey, him instead of just I'm Vera Englund, him. special agent. Also, if oh, this is a floating island, why is there an ocean you. and a forest there? I'm Rolf, the plant master of Nordson. Ooh. A plant master? What's that? Does he know where the a saffron is? Sorts. I oversee a team of gardeners who tend to our shared crops. Got it. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Go right ahead. Okay, so what should we ask him about? Um, the mystery I'm woman. trying to find a woman that Carl Oscarson was involved with. Know anything about that? No, I don't stay updated on gossip like that. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna grab the biometric and ask him about the mystery woman again. I'm trying to find a woman that Carl Oscarson was involved with. Know anything about that? No, I don't stay updated on gossip like that. Oh, okay, so... Maya Strand. Did you know Maya Strand? A bit. She approached me a few months back about refining edible plants into a nutrient paste. So weed. I helped her plant some quality fungi for it in exchange for a cut of the harvest. Then she got herself killed, so... I guess all of that was a waste of time. Well, she he's That's not a morbid being way of looking at it. a thing. I guess so. I'm sorry about what happened to her. I still gotta eat. Uh, what about... Uh, Carl Oskerson. Did you know Carl Oskerson? Not really. But like many other people, we had some contact in our work. Okay. What was your impression of him? Nice guy. Too nice. I'd even go so far as to call him gullible. Wouldn't be surprised if that's what got him killed. Not so. You think he trusted the wrong person? Like I'm you? Just thinking out loud here, but yeah, it wouldn't be a shocker. Okay, so what else is here? Let's ask about Saffron. Do you happen to know where Saffron is grown in Nordson? Perhaps, perhaps. What would this gentleman have to gain from that piece of information? Well, I have a scalpel. I could probably use that. Uh, please, now is not the time. Don't you want justice for two murder victims? Let's say I'll be your friend for a while, buddy. You wouldn't want it any other way. Uh, you're a hustler. This behavior suggests that you are a hustler, one with scruples and low supply. Cooperating would make sure your business is left alone. Uh, read you loud and clear, officer. It's agent, or special agent, not officer. That's a police rank. Okay, I did not say <sighs> that you one. you say, agent. Now, uh, two places come to mind. The greenhouses to the south, and a few crops near Mimir Road. So south Mimir Road. Mimir Road. Where's that? North of the town square. Look for two large farming robots standing around. All right, got it. Through here recently. Would his boot prints still be there? I found out that this thing is a lot faster than the writing in the last episode. Like, seriously, really? I had all of this props and now it's wasted. Uh, anyway, uh, would it be from the boot print? Oh.
analyzing matching data. The boot prints lead up the set of stairs. Uh, I hate that. Why is her eyes white? So he's uh, up here, but I want to see what these things are. The big titty robot replica. Oh, this floor sure looks squeaky clean. It's better. We spent all yesterday mopping it. It wipes all the doors too. Well, oh, fuck just you. my luck. Well, are you fond of filth or something? Yes, actually. Uh, uh no, but filth contains valuable information. Eh, a college from my city cock gaze would certainly say so. Major clean freak. In this case, uh, official police matter. Don't clean this hallway until furnace notice. I'm gonna do middle. <laughs> a colleague from my city cop days would certainly say so. Major clean freak, that one. The guy wouldn't allow me anywhere near his desk. Totally gave OCD a new name. <laughs> well, my condolences, miss. Sweet, I got another point to the one I'm trying to go to. So let's ask about the janitor, what he knows. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm special agent. Let me Angel, just just stop. Put his hand news. down and just just. I need to ask you a few questions. Yeah. Okay. I'm Sven, the caretaker of this apartment block here. What can I help you with? Oh, it's Sven. Uh, let's ask about Carl. Do you murder. know anything about the recent murder of a man named Carl? Nope. As far as I know, no Carl lives here. What about frequent visitors? Yeah, maybe. Haven't heard the name Carl, but then again, I don't socialize with the tenants. It might recognize the man if I saw him. Okay, so I could probably show him the bloody photo. Do you recognize this young couple? Oh, right, that fella. You know him? Yeah, I remember him. It, most people just ignore me, but he always says hi. Nice guy. How often would you say he was here? Uh, at least on a weekly basis, but I work in many other buildings too, so it's hard to say. Great. Got it. What can you tell me about him? Just this one thing. He came up to me and asked about the electricity in apartment 113. He wondered if it was possible to get more power. Huh. Odd. Did he say what for? No. I told him to take it up with the residential office. There are strict quotas. He said he would bring it up with the tenant, a friend of his. Okay. Do you know anything about the tenant? Nope. Discreet, whoever it is. No idea who lives there. Understood. Where can I find apartment 113 exactly? It's right fucking it's there. The yeah, just around the corner. All right, thanks. I like how it goes from 113 to 115 because uh, where's 114? Does it just not exist? Tenant of 113 Mamir Road. Locked. Oh, that's the first time I've seen a door locked in a video game. Uh, what about the small key? Nope, no fit. Ah, oh, damn. What did that key even go to? It's asking about Sven! Tell me about Maya Strand. About Maya Strand. acquaintances. I've been helping her with repairs in the museum every now and then. Okay. When was the last time you saw her? A few weeks ago. I was supposed to fix a showcase for her. Odd thing, though. Who? Yeah? I saw her enter the museum from afar, but when I followed her inside, I couldn't find her. So I left the building. And then she came out the same way I did, acting all surprised, saying she'd been in there the whole time. Strange. Huh. I need to get inside apartment 113. Can you help? Sure, you can borrow this master key. Don't leave with it, though. I'll need it later. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we got another key. So... Thanks. You can get back to work. Alrighty. You can get back to work. Shut up, lady. You're not my boss. Anyway... Master key with the door. Let's see what happens. Ooh, what? Huh. What is that? Ah, shit. So let's ask about the locked door. Hey, I used the master key and some kind of electronic code lock on the side lit up. That's weird. Those pre collapse gizmos are supposed to be disconnected, connected. To Surprised they even work. Wait, so the occupant turned it on without telling you? I guess so, yeah, oh yeah. They must have some technical expertise. I don't even know how those things work myself. Can't you force it open? Disconnect it, use an override code or something? No way, those things go way over my head. I'd say your best bet is cracking the code. Huh. 
Can I just use extra extra strength and rip open the door? You know. Yeah, I was right. There is another body here. Uh, what does the pedo doctor need to say about this? I had some more things to ask. Shoot. Uh, so, yeah, that should be really good when coronavirus comes to town. They should make a movie like that. I want to see one of them just I had a be few walked... questions, Commissary. I want to see one of them just be walked up and it was like, holy shit, you're back there. <laughs> By all means. Uh, the tenant of 113 Mamir Road. I'm trying to find out who lives in an apartment at Mamir Road. Any ideas? We have address records in here. Check the drawers behind me. Perfect. I'll have a look in a bit. Okay, so we finally found out who lives at Mamir Road. That's all I need. All I needed. Very well. The drawer is labeled address records. Uh, okay. These should come in handy. I'll be able to match a name to an address or vice versa. Let's have a look. Well, actually, I want to see what other people are doing. So, I'm gonna then I'm gonna do uh, Carl Oscar and Katarina see what Berg. he looks. Born February second, fifty six A R. Immigrated to Nordson on May thirteenth, eighty A R, which means she's been in Nordson, Nordson for two years. After what? Can't be after collapse. That'd be A C. So. So I've asked all around town, and I can't find a single person related to this Katarina Berg. No one's talked about her. No one even knows her. If you do have suggestions, leave it down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and goodbye.